So I've got the Biofield Reader program open and we're going to have a quick look at processing photos or images which you've got on your computer. To do that you need to be in BFR mode which is for processing photos and viewing them once they're processed. Video is for video processing, uh, either live stream or movie files you've got on your computer. And batch is for processing batches of photos, images at one time in the same folder. But so we're on BFR. Open up a new image. Take this chap. OK. This picture was taken in good lighting but if for any reason you've got to take pictures in low lighting you can brighten them by using this function here you can improve the brightness here which will reveal more colors and patterns do have a look on the website and you'll see some examples of this but um, you can also adjust contrast and saturation and we've got examples of those on the website so i'm not going to alter it it's fine so i'll say okay now I need to choose a filter. I've already chosen filter one for this session. But there's 20 filters there. But we've used filter one mostly for our research, so I'm going to stick to that. If you want to use that filter only for the whole of the session, you can just select here. I'm going to close that. Now we need to apply the filter. So click up here, filter is on now and the green light shows and you've also got those buttons down there too. Nice picture, shows clearly shows his stress and um, congested energy solar plexus, throat energy and brow are congested too. Now we've got another function which I like to apply before applying the filter and that's the image focus. So if we adjust the focal distance slightly, it helps us see the biofield in another way. It takes a picture out of focus, gets rid of that finer detail, and it helps our eyes see areas which are more or less balanced. Or if you're looking at the environment, the scans would be showing more or less vibrant areas. And therapists can show their clients where their field is balanced. Or imbalanced so I'm going to say okay then I'm going to apply the filter and we can see the same areas block but we can see them in more detail more focus uh, the eye is drawn to those areas and this is quite interesting because in the original picture that energy block on the base wasn't seen so what I tend to do is save the first picture as it is then I apply the changes to the focal distance and save that as a separate picture um, you can save via this button here, so you can navigate anywhere you like on your computer via the up button or via here. Or you can have your own folder in another place on the computer where you save your pictures. Change your file name in the normal way. Or you can save the image over here. You can create projects to save your pictures into as well. So that is the photo processing one at a time. Now I'm going to change mode and go to batch. This just is reminding me to save any files before I switch over to another mode. So I'm going to open a folder to process and we've got a lot of pictures in here which we want to just process together. So I'm going to open them. You'll see they appear up here. If you click on one, you've got a preview box here just to make it quicker so you don't have to watch all the processing I'm going to get rid of a few of these images off of here so come over here remove image from list you can keep the original name or you can rename the output files whatever you like okay and we're going to start processing but I haven't turned the filter on so I have to do that now so show the filters we've got filter one here preview box and I'm going to put that on and now I can start processing. And you see the progress bar at the bottom and then your files which have been processed will appear here. OK, so I'm going to finish. Then I'm going to go and look at those. That's just reminding me to make changes. So to look at them, I need to see them in BFR. So I go File, Open Processed Images, and I'm going to go and find the file that I saved. It's in Projects, Report 33, and there's all my files. 
You can rename them, you can save them wherever you like, or you can select create project in a different area on your computer. When you're saving your pictures, if you want, you can auto save a report by selecting here. That gives you a report template. You can make changes to it. We also have, just open that up again, a details log which tells you when and where the photo was taken and other details, the size of it. You can save this as a text file. You can print it. That's useful for serious researchers. If you make a lot of changes to your picture and I'll just come here, okay, and you think, no, I don't want to do that, you just go to image revert and you're back to the normal photo. Um, that's about it. I hope you've enjoyed that. Bye for now.